Hello, I am here to bring you this week's paleo news. Let's get started with uh, paleontologist Phil Manning is searching for Triceratops in South Dakota. He says that there is a secret location of his where he believes that at least three skeletons of uh, Triceratops uh, are starting to erode and he can excavate them. So, uh, sometime in the future, expect uh, more Triceratops to be. I believe he said he already uncovered one, I think. Uh, could be wrong on that, but he thinks there's at least three, him and his colleagues. Next up, some fossilized footprints of reptiles uh, suggest that uh, reptiles were the first vertebrates to move past uh, swampy areas into more of an interior of a continent. They say, yeah, uh, amphibians are probably the first vertebrates that came out, but they had to stay in the water, they had to stay near a swamp to, and land. And, but they say that uh, these footprints uh, go out past that, and reptiles were the first vertebrates to go to venture even further. Uh, they believe the footprints belong to a gecko-like creature named Hylonomus. So the article is down there if you want to look at it. And finally for this week, a uh, new crocodile was discovered named Pacasuchus, or Pacasuchus, however you want to pronounce it. It was a cat-sized crocodile that lived 105 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, and it was discovered in Tanzania. The interesting thing they say about this crocodile is that it's got uh, mammal-like teeth. Uh, the teeth it has were only found in mammals before, and it has never been found in a reptile or anything like it. And they say, the, um, and they say these, these crocodiles, or uh, in this family, a whole family of crocodiles, are just not just excuse me, <laughs> not just this species, but this family of crocodiles probably performed uh, the mammalian niche for the Cretaceous period. And uh, it's, it didn't have any armor like crocodiles today, at least on its back. Only its tail was uh, armored covered. And back to the teeth, they say it's not like the ripping and tearing teeth of crocodile, but more like uh, chomping like a mammal does. Like, uh, hard bites and stuff like that. Well, that is all your paleo news this week. There wasn't a whole lot, but I brought it to you. Uh, come back next week for more paleo news. Everything is in the description along with this week's paleo clip and some bonus links. Until next time, have a groovy day, guys.